To continue our tour, let's cross the footbridge to the west of the Warnock building to the Rio Tinto Kennecott building, home to mechanical engineering. The Rio Tinto Kennecott building is a lead gold sustainable building designed to enhance student learning and collaboration through its unique and open design. There are study rooms, a tutoring center, a computer lab, conference and seminar rooms, and a large lecture hall. Many of the labs and rooms in the building have large glass windows so you can see what's going on and to promote interaction among students and researchers. For example, you may see bionic devices in action, ground and aerial robots such as drones, surgical robots, rockets, and many more exciting devices the mechanical engineers design and build. Mechanical engineers spend a great deal of time creating and designing useful devices to help improve our daily lives. They leverage their training to develop innovative products, systems, and materials that are more efficient, more user-friendly, stronger, faster, and more sustainable. Back across the bridge to the south of the Warnock building is the Floyd and Jerry Meldrum Civil Engineering Building the home for the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. The building also houses many of the material science and engineering teaching and research labs. Civil engineering faculty are devoted to improving quality of life through their research on air and water quality, sustainable design and construction, innovative approaches to seismic strengthening, transportation safety, and more. They do this through close ties with local industry and government officials. Students enjoy the special design labs, study spaces, lecture hall, and lounge. The building also houses a traffic simulation lab using real-time data from Utah's Department of Transportation. The nearby Layton Building, recently renovated, provides civil students with additional state-of-the-art labs and equipment. A stone's throw south of Meldrum is Material Sciences' home base, the CME Building. In this building, and in the Layton Building, attached to CME via a sky bridge, materials faculty and students use physics and chemistry to both improve existing materials and develop new ones. Since nearly everything we use is made of engineered materials, graduates in this field are in great demand. In fact, our everyday world of computers, smartphones, implants, aircraft, and cars wouldn't exist if not for the ongoing efforts of material scientists. Materials power the technologies we use to develop new energy sources, protect the environment, cure diseases, and improve communication. Other material science and metallurgy labs, including the metallurgy research facilities, are located in the nearby College of Mines and Earth Sciences.